Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah and this is a coloring book review for Joanna Bashford's Enchanted Forest, an inky quest and, and coloring book. Um, here's the front. Here is the back. You can see I've kind of um, got stuff on it. However, I love these books because they've got the dust cover and underneath the dust cover you will have not only pictures to color, but another color, another cover to color. <laughs> tongue twister there. Um, here is the spine. It has a metallic sheen to it. And here is the thickness. The dimensions of the book are 10 by 10 inches. Inside you'll have uh, the intro page here. Um, this is some place where I tested some mediums I was using. Um, as well as the information page for publication. Then you'll have your really nice big nameplate. So this follows the same format as, as her other books do. And then you'll have hidden inside these this book are um, these creatures. And then below each one of the creatures, it will have the number. Let me zoom in here. We'll have the number. Focus will have the number of how many of these things are inside the book. And then you have a nice little letter here um, from Joanna um, to anybody who's coloring her books. So let me jump right in here. You have a nice map um, to start off with about what the book covers. Let me see, this light is just not working today. Not working the way I want it to anyway. There. And the paper quality of this is the same as her other books. It's a thinner cardstock type of paper. So things that will work inside these um, these books of hers are colored pencils, crayons, ink pens, gel pens. Watercolor will work if you're careful with the water. Chalk pastels, oil pastels, uh, the Neo Color 2 um, watercolor pastels from Karen Dosh. Those will work. Um, those are my absolute favorites. Um, when it comes to slick sticks or gelatos or anything that's a water soluble stick, they are my absolute favorite. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are definitely worth the money. Um, you can review those with me on one of my previous videos. If you click on my name over there, you'll see the other videos I have. Just scroll down until you see the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 review, and you can look at those as well. So watercolor markers, felt tip pens, fine liners, um, all those things will work in this book. Be careful with the felt tip pens. If you do too many passes over the same area, it will bleed through. Alcohol markers will bleed through no matter what. Alcohol markers are things like uh, the Prismacolor alcohol markers, um, Sharpies, those kinds of things. The Crayola markers, if you're using Crayola markers, those are a water-based marker. They are not watercolor markers. There's a big difference, but they are water-based markers, um, and those will not go through. Um, this particular picture was colored with Prismacolor colored pencils, um, and, it, and it did a great job coloring. The lay down was fantastic. Um, I had absolutely no problems with this. And I'm getting ready to show you the other one. This particular one that I did, the background was done in watercolor. Um, I needed to go back over the watercolor after it dried to um, take out some of these streaks that have were left in there, there, and there. Um, I did not do that yet. However, I plan on doing that 
but just to show you guys um, kind of what it looks like with the watercolor, I wanted to show you that. So the watercolor background, that is watercolor. And you can see my page is not crinkled. And what I do when I use watercolor inside of a book is I completely finish it. Um, I put um, usually a paper towel over top after it dries somewhat. And then I put some heavy books on top of that. And that way my page will dry completely flat. Um, the other way you can do that is to put something between the pages, close the book so it doesn't transfer back and forth to the different pages, and then put something heavy on top of that. That too will also help. That light is just not, I'm going to turn that light off because it's not giving you the right colors over here. Um, so the rest of the page was done with Prismacolor colored pencils. So I just wanted to give you guys um, a little information about what other mediums will work really well. The watercolor did a fantastic job. I had no problems with it. And this is the book where I absolutely love uh, some of the flip out things that are in the back here. And I'll show you guys those um, here in just a bit. I've not started coloring those yet, but they are fantastic. Um, this is the other one that I have colored. And this was done with Prismacolor color pencils as well. Um, I've not finished the background completely yet. You can see there's a difference here between this one and this one, and it will all look like this once I'm done. Um, but this was another great picture. I had the opportunity to color in this book and it did phenomenal. Phenomenal job. Um, I'm never disappointed with Prismacolor. I believe this is the last one that I colored in the book and these were actually done with Crayola colored pencils. All of it except for the beak was done with Prismacolor. So the bird itself was Crayola and I wanted you guys to see that um, kind of difference in the Prismacolor color lay down and the Crayola lay down. There's not much of a difference um, if you burnish with the Crayola. Um, and I'll have a video up um, hopefully next week sometime about burnishing um, with all different types of your colored pencils. So anyway, I wanted to show you, show you the difference there. So these are the flip out areas. So I'm going to to move it over to one side so you can see. These are her dragons, and I love them. I love that there are two of them. So you have this one, and then you have the mirror image over here of, of the other dragon. And I love that they are side by side because you can do a good dragon and a not so great dragon um, color scheme wise, or you can do ones that are all cool colors. You could do ones that are all warm colors. Um, you can make them look identical. You can make them look like twin. You know, it doesn't matter what you do with them. I like the fact that you can do something different with each one. I think that was a pretty cool thing. And then on this side of the page, you will have the key um, to where all the hidden animals are in, inside the book. The one thing I've noticed in Joanna's books is that there are there is no test page in the back. Um, so what I do is I use this as a test page, or I use one of the front pages that has ink on it, so I can test over the ink as well if I would like to, to see how the medium will work. So that is the end of my review. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy coloring.